welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a topic from Science Form 2, chapter number 3, topic number 3.2, the importance of balanced diet. A balanced diet is a diet that contains all of the food classes needed by the body at the right quantity to meet the needs of the body. A balanced diet is necessary for providing energy and to provide nutrients for a balanced growth. The food intake should be based on the food pyramid, which is a chart that helps us to plan our types of food intake with a suitable amount. Our food intake need to be varied because there is no one type of food that contains all of the food classes that can provide all of the necessary nutrients to our body. Factors to be considered when we are preparing our balanced diet are age, occupation, gender, body size, health condition, and the climate area where we are living in. Growing children and teenagers need more carbohydrates to provide energy and proteins for their growth. They need more energy because they are usually active and they need proteins to have a good body growth. heavy works like farmers, construction workers, and cleaners need more energy. Therefore, their dietary needs are higher compared to those who are working in the office. Men usually do heavier work and carry out more activities compared to the women. Therefore, they need more energy compared to the women. People with bigger size body need to eat more as they need more energy to carry out their activities as compared to those who have smaller body size. People with particular types of sickness especially need to consume more nutritious meals as they need more energy, minerals and vitamin to heal their body. And people who live in colder climate area releases more heat from their body Therefore, they need more energy to maintain their body temperature. Next discussion is about calorific value of food. Calorific value is the total amount of energy release when one gram of food is completely burned. This amount of energy is measured in the unit of calorie or joule. One calorie is equivalent to 4.2 joules, whereby one kilocalorie is equivalent to 4.2 kilojoules. One calorie is the heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water to one degree Celsius.
there are three common food classes that provides energy to us. They are carbohydrate, the protein, and fats. But the amount of energy provided by these three classes of food are not equal. For one gram of fat, it provides us 37 kilojoules of energy or equivalent to 9 kilocalories. For protein, it provides us 17 kilojoules of energy or equivalent to 4 kilocalories. And the same for carbohydrate. For one gram of carbohydrate, it provides us with 17 kilojoules of energy or equivalent to 4 kilocalories. The calorific value of our meal can be estimated if we know the amount of calorific value in each of the ingredients in our food. The calorific value calculation is as shown in the following example.
Now we're going to discuss about planning a balanced diet. Before planning for a balanced diet, factors like age, gender, occupation, body size, and the health condition of a person's body need to be taken into account. Balanced diet planning is very important to ensure we gain sufficient nutrients so that we are always healthy and not easily become tired. This table shows the daily energy needs suggested for certain groups of people. Now I'm going to show you an example of diet plan for a boy who needs 8,500 kilojoules of energy in his daily activities. the most valuable treasure for a person. To remain healthy, a person needs to consume nutritious food. The main cause of illness in a person is normally due to not having a balanced meal and lack of nutritious food as well as lack of physical activities. Besides that, Having an unbalanced diet can also cause malnutrition and health problems. Therefore, we need to practice healthy lifestyle such as exercise regularly, no smoking and consuming alcoholic drinks, and also make regular medical checkups with the local medical practitioners. And also try to make your food less sugar, salt, and fats. That's all our discussion about this topic. I hope you can share the video to your friends and families. If you think this video is beneficial, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. I hope to see you again.